Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Moose Man. And uh right now we're hunting. We're going to we're going to go on a big old a big old hunt. I don't know what we're hunting. I hope it's not moose. Cuz we're the we're the moose man. But I'll hunt. Oh no, it is a moose. Get him. So that's who we're hunting. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that <laughs> because we're a hunter now. We, uh, we can't go in between the spirit realms. I guess this is just a whole new character. A whole new character. Oh no! Is Sleeping Bear. <clears throat> I hope I'm not supposed to kill. Oh, it's a wolf. Like a dire wolf. Oh, what's that back there? I almost missed a thing. It's a snack. It's a little snack. Oh, I almost missed a little snack. Snake figure of Glenandisky period. Among artifacts of the, can't say that one, burial mound are also found figures of snakes made in non-flat casting technique. Snake is a symbol of lower world because it moves both on the ground and below it. 3rd century BC, 8th century AD from that burial mound in the Parm region. Perm region. Perm. Hmm. Very interesting. Why did it have to die like that? That's so sad. Oh, He's not even the game I'm after. I'm after a moose, apparently, and I just killed a little dire wolf for no reason. A little dire wolf. Oh, there's one of those totems. I'm glad that they make a noise, because I would just never notice them. Wolf. He is the one with a gray hide. He is the one who lives in the forest. He is the one of the darkest creation. He is one of the darkest creations of Yen. He is evil and he is treacherous. And it is said that once he almost killed his creator Yen when he walked among the men. Oh no. Don't try to tell me that that little wolf was a bad man. Almost got him. Apparently we're just killing everything right now, so. Really? Okay, cool. Chop down trees with my arrows. Oh, they die so sad! Making me feel like a bad guy. Well, I'm a hunter. There's a game out right now called The Hunter. <laughs> but it's like a hunting simulation or survival game. I, I keep, it looks really cool. I'm sorry, I'm talking about other games. <laughs> but it's a hunting game and I'm not about that. Just like this right now, it's a hunting game. I don't like that. Don't <laughs> Oh. It's 
is no longer snow. I wonder if this is like that. It's loud. <laughs> I wonder if it's supposed to be like that, that gross river filled with people. You should really not do that. It is probably a very bad idea to shoot an arrow actually in the sky. Unless you're trying to get fire arrows. I hope that's what he's trying to do. Press X. Oh. Gosh. I hope I can go back to where I was just at. Because I missed one of the little... The little doodads, but I didn't know how to get up there. The fire protects objects from harm. Like me. Oh, can I still go in between? Okay, so I guess I'm just back here now. That was just like a little story. Story of the hunter. Let's see, Way of the Birds. High in the night sky, the way of the bird shines. It stretches from the ocean, from ocean to ocean, and is bright as if it was drawn with the white milk. This is the way which use birds to fly in spring and autumn, and it helps them to stay on the right road. I can't tell if I'm just reading it poorly, or if it's the translation, but I understand. I get it. I get it. I understand. He doesn't look too happy to be walked on. Oh, oh that thing's gonna try and get me. No. No, we didn't. Oh, almost missed him. Serpents! Beasts and serpents live underground, and they are called chuds as well. Their legs are filled with claws, but some, some have a tail like a beaver, and they eat the silent fish. Some serpents, live, some serpents are seen by men. These ones travel among the worlds. Other serpents are invisible to most, and can only be seen by ones who know. The hidden serpents can build mountains, and they can create bridges. Mm. wonder what kind of serpents are those? Not good serpents. Ain't making me no bridges. Is that a moose? <sighs> From the slumber, I was woken by familiar living footsteps, and I see the part of Shondi that you bring on tip of staff. 
Warm will be all worlds of living with the light you carry with you. Like you did a week beforehand like you will for years to come. But in web that creeps with darkness lurks the ancient spider, Karen, Charon, Charon. And he watches from his lair with his eyes that know no sleep. He awaits you, lingers, shivers, waiting you to claim his kill. Oh. So, I'm gonna find a spider. There's a thing up there. Oh, I almost missed him. Mangoth. Mangoth was walking through Parma when there was no men in the middle world. Mangoth was so heavy that he was breast deep under the earth with his mass and his horns. Did he dig the riverbeds? Where he lay, the lakes took root. Where he fed, the seas emerged. Seas. <laughs> One day, seven birds sat on, his, on the horns of Mangoth. With that, the earth could not hold his body any longer. He fell to the bottom of the lower world, where he still sleeps among his old horns. We still find some of his horns here in Middleworld, where he left them on the dawn of creation. So that was Manga. Oop! I almost ran into that thing. So can I get up there? Hmm. I don't know how to get up there. It's okay. But it's okay though. Oh. Can I die if I go down there? Is that why that was there? Or is it secrets? It was secrets all along. Darn it. I'm trying to think. You protected me. I think I've messed a lot. Oh no. Spoon. A spoon with a bear depiction on a handle. Similar spoons were used during the pagan rituals. 7th or 8th century from the upper comma basin perm cry. Hmm. But I don't know how to get to the... To the oh, I see. Maybe I can get up on this one. Maybe, maybe, baby. The Forest of Bones. The time passed, Mangoth slept in the dark of the lower world. More and more of his heavy tusks fell down, After and after a thousand years, they formed the Forest of Bones. Among the fallen horns, the spirits of the underground dwell, and the forest is thick and impassable. So I'm going to go this way so that I can get the little secret man. I'm glad they don't put me very far back. Oh, I hope it doesn't drop me. No? Oh, there's a bunch of little artifacts up here. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Oh, come on, dude. Really? Hmm. That's no fun. I wonder... 
I'm just gonna collect some of these things. And then I'll go in there and read them. Oh, come on. I think that was all that was over there, maybe. If not, no biggie. No biggie, she say. Oh! Oh, where'd it go? So I need to get that thing. This little guy, he needs to make a bridge for me, right? Where are you gonna take me, little man? Are you just gonna stop when you when you need to stop? Here? Are you supposed to go out farther, or will I never be able to get you back? Oh, okay, maybe he's just supposed to fall down. You're supposed to make a bridge down there. Thank you, little worm buddy. And thank you. And you're so sweet. It's so helpful. <laughs> F and F. <laughs> Come on, dude. Gotta have my light loaded up at all times. All times, we gotta have that light loaded up. <laughs> okay. Let's look at my little artifacts I picked up first. Moose man. Plaque depicting a moose man riding a reptile surrounded by spirits under the semicircular border between six and eight centuries. Hmm. Female face. Plaque depicting a female face with an animal on her forehead. Eighth or ninth century. Hmm. And this one, a couple. Plaque showing off a pair of moose man on a reptile's body, 7th or 8th century from the village of Ambor. Perm animal styles often depict the cosmonogy, cosmonogy com oh, of their creators when we can see the lower world, middle world, and upper world in the composition. Hmm. Oh. And add one of you guys too. Earthquakes. Mangoth is a powerful one. Once did he build the middle world, and still his horns are full of force. When he raises his heavy head, the dome of lower world shakes, and the ground in the middle world shatters. Hmm. Uh oh. Does that mean he's shaking his head? I wonder where we're going. Oh. Oh no, this is spider zone. I bet this is spider zone. I'm gonna go the other way. Because if I've learned anything, always walk the other way. Oh, nothing. Why would you trick me like this? That's okay. So, now that we're in somewhere spooky that I'm sure is full of little spiders... I think this is a pretty good place to stop for today. Oh, okay. Well, if you don't like spiders, I imagine don't watch the next episode. Just skip. Just skip it. <laughs>
well, I hope you guys have a nice day. And I'll see you another time. <laughs> Goodbye!